Oh, we are on the move again. Doing a little hand graze. Hi guys, so it's a bit windy out here, but I thought I'd just catch up with you all. So, heading off to Hunters tomorrow for, for our second Grand Prix, which is really exciting. Um, do you think so, Inky? Do you think it's exciting? Uh, so yeah, we had um, really good training yesterday with Matt and a bit of a little bit of an easier day today. Didn't want to be putting too much pressure on him. So just worked on uh, some transitions and just keeping him sharp with the leg um, for tomorrow. So last week uh, was really good. We, we, we were training with, with Carl and um, worked on worked on our hands now and getting good sharp reactions and getting quicker on the left leg, which is very necessary for, for us to get that canter better. And um, and then worked with the PR from the passage as well, just getting getting the energy and the transitions back and forth in that, and keeping him on the ball with Inky. I find I really need to do a lot of lot of transitions in between everything to keep him sharp and listening. So teaching's going quite well, and um, I've started doing uh, clinics over Gemma Tattersall's yard, which is great. So hopefully you're going to be there once a month. Um, in Sussex and still going up to Oxfordshire every weekend to teach there for my lovely clients and going some new groups and getting some more clients as well, which is fantastic. Um, a little bit more uh, bend around my leg, especially into those transitions to help him a little bit um, and to help keep that softness. And it was a good reminder because uh, that's a lot of when I, when I teach of um, what I tell my clients about thinking of that slight leg yield into your transition, keep the, keep the bend around the leg and, and getting them a little more inside hind leg underneath them and so it was good for me to have a reminder of that and to feel it as well. Hey stinkers, it's like yeah I'm just too busy eating grass thank you don't bother me. Um, anyway on a there are always things in life that that happen where you're going along and you think everything is great and then something comes along and it sort of knocks you over a little bit and um, I'm going through something like that at the moment actually. Um, I won't talk about it but it, it's, it's also made me think a little bit about how important it is to, to compartmentalize things as well sometimes so they don't eat at you and don't take over your day um, or your week and I mean what I'm sort of experiencing now it's something that can be quite um, well it can put you in a bit of a bad place and think have negative thoughts so I'm very I'm trying very hard to to deal with it and um, keep it at the back of my mind a little bit and not let it interfere with with everything I do every day Anyway, guys, I hope you're all well. I think Inky is going to go into a stable and have his dinner now, dinner time, um, and probably time, nearly time for me to have a glass of wine. Oh no, it's only five o'clock. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a nice relaxing evening before tomorrow, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and I will speak to you guys soon. Take care, be safe.